Garantano wants to throw, and he is flush from the pocket and trying to scramble. Maybe picked up a yard, if that. And that's going to leave third and long for Tennessee. Quick hitter to the outside. Trying to set up the screen, and Arkansas blows it up. It's a freshman, Catlon, who does more film study than anybody you've ever seen. He led film study Thursday night for the defensive backs. He knew it was coming. And this is a great play. He comes from on the back end, diagnoses the screen, shakes off a blocker. He had to dip underneath the blocker to go and make that play. One of the reasons. They're going to let him throw on first down. And Arkansas gets to him. Xavier Kelly, the senior from Wichita by way of Clemson. An underdog in that game. And AM's playing better than LSU right now. First down run finds nothing for Tennessee. In fact, they may have lost yardage on first. Garantano's only thrown it eight times in this game. He's five for eight. And he's going to try and scramble. Goes airborne at the 30. Garantano leaving it on the field, but everybody was covered downfield. Well, I thought he could have got rid of it earlier, just before this point. Had a player in the flat. It was tight coverage, but I feel like if he got rid of it earlier, he had a chance. But a great job by Greg Brooks. They might need a little juice at the position. Someone with a little more juice running the football. Gray spins his way for a couple of physical yards, and that will leave third and two. Do you expect zone read on third and two? Give to the running back, nowhere to go for Eric Gray. Jonathan Marshall, who Barry Odom called the most important player on this team, led the way. And it really wasn't a zone read here. Trying to steal some eyes with the rocket motion in Arkansas. Played great at the line of scrimmage there. Won that right side. I don't disagree with that, but he made the change when Tennessee was still leading. It was 14. Uh, th pardon me. They had just gone down by one. So in a game where they had dominated time of possession, you could have kept with what you were doing. I agree. I know. That's why, the, that's why it's puzzling. And after that, Nets nothing. Third down nine. Mauer. Incomplete, almost picked. He was a yard behind his intended receiver, Jalen Hyatt. That's great athleticism. He's got to find a way to get him comfortable. Straight ahead and nothing. <laughs> the block. Is Arkansas going to drop and play coverage or bring pressure? Looks like they're coming. They bring five. Mauer scrambles, heaves. Nobody there except Arkansas, and it's out of bounds. Arkansas fills the hole, and they do it with bumper pool. Boy, just so much penetration here. I think that was Jonathan Marshall there. Yep. Getting across the center's face. He's in that zero nose position. Yeah. Little option pitch. And another big play by Arkansas's defense. Eric Gregory. He's got all day. And he throws it out of bounds. Hasn't thrown it yet in this one. And it goes straight ahead and that'll leave third and two. This is kind of what Tennessee got away from in the third quarter, right? The ground, but you do need to pick up the urgency. Again to the run. Big stop, Jonathan Marshall. He's running over the top of Eric Gray. Down two scores. Bailey to throw, slant, batted in the air. It is intercepted by Arkansas! Turnover on downs regardless. It was going to be Arkansas ball, but the Razorbacks have their 11th interception of the season. It belongs to Eric Gregory. It's his first.
Let the big guy eat. Pressure coming. Bailey, too high off the crossbar. This is a team that went two years without an SEC victory. Things are turning around quick in Fayetteville. Bailey, end zone, jump ball. It is intercepted again. Razorbacks with another pick to seal it. It's a guy who studies more film than anybody, Jalen Catalan, with his second interception of the season. How about this Sam Pittman Arkansas football team? And it starts with Sam Pittman. Great job by this defense down the stretch to keep everything in front of them. And again, it was a little too late for, for Tennessee.